All right, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to graph something with an x squared term using your graphing calculator. So let's say I have to graph this function, f of x is x squared plus 4x minus 2. You could do this really easily on your calculator. So I'm going to come over here to my calculator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to y equals, and I'm going to type in this function. So x squared plus 4x minus 2. I'm going to hit enter. Now a couple of things you're going to want to check before you get started. So I'm going to go to window. Make sure your x min, x max, y min, and y max are all set like mine. So they're negative 10 and 10 each. The other thing you want to check if you go to second window, make sure your table is at independent and dependent are both set for auto and your delta table is 1. So if those aren't your settings, make sure you switch those now. Okay, so I typed in my function x squared plus 4x minus 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click graph. Now this is going to give me a rough estimate of what it's going to look like, but what we want to know are the exact points so that we can plot them. So what you're going to want to do is use your arrows here to scroll on the graph and find the vertex. The vertex is the minimum or maximum point. Okay, It's where the graph changes direction. If you notice, the y's are all getting smaller and smaller and smaller. At the vertex, they start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And what you want is the approximate value of the vertex. So it's at about x is negative, negative 2 and y is negative 6. So keep that point in mind, negative 2, negative 6. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit second graph, and that brings me to the table. If you remember, I said remember negative 2, negative 6. That's our vertex, and what you'll notice is the numbers are getting smaller and smaller for the y's until it gets to negative 6, and then they start getting bigger and bigger. So what you should do then is plot these points, or sorry, plot the vertex, and then plot two points to the right of it, and two points to the left of it. So on the chart or the table, two below and two above. So let's do that now. I'm going to slide this over and we'll go to our graph. Okay, so the first point I'm going to graph is my vertex, which we said was negative 2, negative 6. So I'm going to go over 2 or in the negative direction, down 6. So this will be my first point. And then I'm going to graph 2 to the right, or 2 below, so negative 1, negative 5. So I'm going to go over 1, and down 5. And then 0, negative 2. So 0, negative 2. Then I'll go 2 to the left, so negative 3, negative 5. and negative 4, negative 2. And you're starting to see the shape of the parabola now. So now I can connect it, making that U shape. And we'll put arrows at the end, and that's it. So that's how you would graph f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2. All right, we'll look at one more. So this one is x squared minus 6x plus 1. So we're going to use the same strategy. We're going to click y equals. We're going to type in the function x squared minus 6x plus 1. And hit enter. And then I'm going to click graph. I'm going to use my scrolling to find the approximate value of the vertex. In this case it's at around x equals 3 y equals negative 8, so the point 3, negative 8. I'm going to go to the table. I'm going to go to x is equal to 3, negative 8, and I'm going to plot that point, and then 2 to the right, and 2 to the left. So let's do that really quick. All right, we'll go over here. So where am I? So 3, negative 8 would be right here. 
I'm going to go to 4, negative 7. Five, negative four. And then we'll go two to the left. So two, negative seven. And one, negative four. Start to see the shape of the parabola. And so then you can fill in the rest just like that. So it's that easy. So that's the strategy how to graph an x squared function using your calculator.